Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, there we go. Now I can hear. I'm sorry for that. Uh, well, anyway, <laughs> good evening to you, Sunny. Ah, uh, hi. Good evening. All right. Well, anyway, how how's your holiday? Ah, oh, holiday. Ah, actually, I live in America, so it was mm -hmm. just a normal day. <laughs> so you did not celebrate any at all with your probably your family or your friends. Yeah, because I I went to work and <laughs> my husband went to work <laughs> too, and we yeah met in the evening and we just uh, spend our normal day. Okay. Well, okay, that's fine because, yeah, uh, since you're in Florida, um, although that's very far from Korea, but of course you are Korean, so sometimes you should celebrate as well, even though you're far from your homeland, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but <laughs> then I, yeah, when I watched the uh, news, TV news, there mm -hmm. they said about uh, the uh, celebrating. This uh, this holy mm -hmm. holiday, so mm -hmm. we yeah think we thought just <laughs> uh <laughs> about the meaning of the day. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, at least okay. You you were still able to watch some news about uh, the reason why celebrating this holiday. Yeah. But okay, let me ask you this. This is very okay for for us. Here in the Philippines, mm -hmm. we don't celebrate a holiday for our language. Mm. <coughs> but let me ask you, why? Why do you have to celebrate Hangul Day? Uh, I think the uh, national holiday is uh, have a special meaning for the. Mm -hmm. Uh, citizens or mm -hmm. uh, uh, people who live in there. So uh -huh. I think National Foundation Day is very important to us. And uh, the Hangul holiday is very important to us. Too, as well. Okay. Mm. <coughs> now the question is, why is it important? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, before the uh, the creation of hunger, uh, mm -hmm. many citizens. Uh, can't read and can't uh, communicate uh, properly because they don't know about the language. Uh, they uh, don't, don't know about uh, writing and reading their uh, language. And okay. after creation of hunger. By Sejong, the great king. Uh, the great king, uh huh. Many people can read and write their language, and uh, it uh, it is it is similar to open their eyes because they okay. when they uh, when they didn't know. Uh, their language, they mm, mm -hmm. can't uh, read uh, some, so for example, they can't read the uh, subscription about uh, their medicine or they can't mm -hmm. uh, do <laughs> bank, bank work properly. Okay. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's very important, uh, yeah, I think. Okay, that's the reason why it's so important. Okay, mm -hmm. well, first thing is, I, I do agree with all of what you said, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, first thing is, people doesn't, when people doesn't communicate properly, doesn't have a, a unified language, okay, we call it unified language. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
language, the unified language, or we we call it the mother language. Mother. Okay. Mother yeah. language. Mm. Mother language or your mother tongue. Mm -mm. Okay. People could not communicate properly and they they sometimes they misinterpret what other people are saying. Mm. Right? Mm. At the same time, the reason for someone taking a step to create a universal language for everyone is to unify the people. Mm. When you say unify the people, um, they will be unified because they can now speak the same language, mm. use that language as their own, and then it will become their culture. They mm. become one nation, right? Mm. That's why you are court. That's why you are called Koreans, right? Mm. Because Koreans use Korean language, which is what? Hangul, mm. right? Mm -mm. So there, it unifies a lot of people because of language mm. and removes what we call the language barrier, mm. right? Yeah, barrier. Okay. Mm. And, of course, okay, celebrating it as a national holiday, that only means that you take importance on what your king has done for your country to unify your uh, your country to make one universal language for everyone right mm -mm -mm. yeah right good mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. now all right it's the same thing with english yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right it's the same thing with english but uh frankly for us okay it's for us we don't we don't have any holidays to celebrate for our national language mm. honestly mm. here in the Philippines you'll not see that but we do have a lot of holidays uh, that commemorates heroes all right uh, big events that happened to our country before mm. now one question that I have for you mm -hmm. okay, this is very controversial in our country right now mm -hmm. okay? do you really need to celebrate holidays Yes. <laughs> okay, my, my question to you is why? Why do you need to celebrate holidays? What what's what's in it for holidays? Mm. Uh, yes, I think ce uh, celebrate holiday is very important. Uh, for okay. example, yesterday was Hangul holiday, but okay. I uh there where uh, where I live in, uh, okay. in the America, there was just mm -hmm. normal days, so I didn't celebrate that day. But if I mm -hmm. uh, live in Korea, I can celebrate because it was so, uh, it, it it is holiday, and we can more think about the meaning of the day or the reason okay. of the day. So. And these days, especially, there are many mass media mass media uh, talk about the meaning or origin of the days. So, mm -hmm. if we it's not uh, if we 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 don't celebrate the days as holiday, mm -hmm. I think we can for, forget or forget about the meaning or. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So the reason why celebrating a holiday is to always think about what happened, the importance of why a certain day is very, uh, how do I say, it's a very important day for everyone to know about history or to know something about that that happened. Mm. Right. And but, on the other hand, I, I am working, uh, I am... I am working. I am an employee, so <laughs> sometimes uh, holiday is very <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, holidays ma make me mm -hmm. relaxed and mm -hmm. give me some rest for okay un yeah unexpectable uh, unexpectably mm -hmm. okay yeah. All right. Now the next question for you is, what if there are so many na uh, so many national holidays um, that we kept on uh, commemorating things that had happened in the past? 
is it good for us or is it bad? What do you think? As an em employee, <laughs> okay, or more, <laughs> the better. <laughs> okay. But, <laughs> uh, but I think there is there are some standards to. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what is that? Uh, Mm -hmm. Standards for mm -hmm. um, designate designation mm -hmm. of national holidays. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, government uh, manage government manages mm -hmm. the number mm -hmm. of <laughs> the national holidays. Mm -hmm. So it. it I'm not afraid about it will be too many or mm. yeah. Okay, because okay, here in the Philippines, mm. it's all it's one of the things that our government is t uh, checking because in in our country mm. we have at least. 28 national holidays. Mm, 28? 28 <laughs> national holidays. Wow. Could you imagine that? Too many. Mm, twice, uh, twice a month? Over twice a month? Not just twice, sometimes it's thrice. Three, <laughs> three holidays in a month. And again, uh, imagine some, uh, some of them are, I don't know, uh, they were thinking that it should not be part of our national holidays. Mm. Now, people are debating on this because they think that this 28 national holidays are very important for our history. Mm. So that's why I, I wanted to know about your opinion when it comes to celebrating holidays mm. uh, because it's it's part of culture. It's, it's something that you commemorate uh, due to something that had happened in the past or something very important for your history, right? Mm. Yeah. But I uh, searched about the national holiday of Korea. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. there, there are just five days as national mm -hmm. holiday. Five days national holiday? Yeah. Oh, that's very little. Yes. compared to 28 <laughs> right yeah okay I think the reason why here in the Philippines is because our country is divided between uh, Catholics and Muslims mm -mm. so there now, are religion holiday religious yes religious, religious holidays mm. we don't have a religious holiday what do you mean, like regular one? Because um, for us, there are like National Hero, National Heroes Day. Mm -hmm. we, we, also, we also have what we call the Liber, uh, uh, Liberation Day. Okay, Liberation Day. All right. We also have like Christmas, okay? Christmas is mm -hmm. considered as a holiday. Mm -hmm. okay? And that goes with New Year. Mm. And then we have religious uh, celebration. We have religious uh, holidays. So mm. both Catholics and Muslims enjoy mm. uh, religious holidays. Mm. Even if you mm. are not Catholic, okay. Mm. Even if even if uh, if you even if you're not part of that religion, since you are in the country, mm. you can still have the holiday. You, you are you still enjoy it vice versa if you are a muslim okay mm. even if the catholics are not part of their religious group they still enjoy the holiday for the muslims mm. so that's why it's, i don't know that's why we have so many mm. oh, i see mm. oh, we have christmas too but mm -hmm. mm. Yes, it's a, uh, you have Christmas uh, holiday, or is it just like a uh, like a regular holiday, not national? 
Mm, yes, right. It's not a national. Mm. <coughs> because I think uh, in Korea, okay, uh, most most of the people there belong to what we call the religious group of um, Taoism and Buddhism. Right? Mm, yeah, right. And and Christ Christianity is not that. How I say it's not that uh, part of the culture. Mm. Uh, during the older time, that's why you don't know the uh, you don't know the concept of Christmas. You don't know the uh, concept of Valentine's Day, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have Valentine's Day? Yes, but it's not holiday. It's not holiday, right? Uh, you, we also have what we call the religious um, holidays, like Halloween. Mm -hmm. Okay, Halloween here in the Philippines, it's a it's a holiday. Ah, you follow Halloween. Yes. Ah, but you so then you uh, your children uh do the treat or the uh, treat or what is that? Trick or treat? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. They're doing that, but. Because but one of my, my mm -hmm. one of my teachers said, mm -hmm. you don't like uh, Philippine, Filipinos don't mm -hmm. follow the ha Halloween and their children didn't uh, don't uh, treat or treat. Trick or treat. Probably they lived in the suburban suburban areas, mm -hmm. but I in see. in the urban areas, yeah. We, we do celebrate Halloween and we I follow see. Halloween. Uh, this is this is part of what we call the uh, how do I say the All Saints Day and All Souls Day. Mm. So we we have the Hallow, uh, Halloween uh, celebration during, if I'm not mistaken, the 31st of uh, October. Uh, and then after that, we we have the All Souls Day on November 1st, uh, following the tradition of the Spanish. Mm -mm. Actually, I uh, I didn't experience uh, Halloween, and oh. this year my first <laughs> this year. You will be experiencing that because you're in Florida, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this will be your first time. Uh, you'll you'll your kids will enjoy it. Honestly, mm -hmm. they'll they'll have trick or treat. Mm -hmm. Okay. See. Anyway. Um, the blinker is blinking again. <laughs> 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 All right. But okay, I guess our time is up, so we'll just end for now. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll just see each other next time. But thank okay. you for your time and mm -hmm. sharing your ideas about national holidays. Okay. Mm, yeah, it was interesting. Okay. So thank you and have a good day, Sunny. Okay. Bye. Bye bye.